What's going on guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be showing you my custom LEGO decathlon version of Spider-Man from Spider-Man Homecoming. I rewatched Homecoming and Far From Home recently because we are approaching the three year anniversary of Homecoming's release I believe, and then the one year anniversary of Far From Home's release. So I'll be doing a video on that, walking you through my thoughts on both movies and how they've aged and why I think Far From Home is a bad sequel, please don't kill me. but. I wanted to show you this custom that I wanted to design based off the scene when he's trapped in the damage control deep storage vault, I believe is the full name of it. I'm not sure why I remember that, but I believe that's where he is trapped in the midpoint of homecoming. And he's wearing his decathlon jacket, which is the yellow jacket that most of the students wear for the decathlon trip. And the head, hands, and legs are all from normal homecoming or civil war or far from home Spider-Man. There's nothing added there but the torso and the arms are what I really decked out here so this is what this torso looked like when I started it was a plain yellow torso if that gives you any idea of how much work I put into this and this is honestly I think probably my favorite custom I've ever designed it was extremely difficult and extremely like stressful actually to get all these small details on because all the black lines you see are done with a sharpie and if you mess up one of those lines you screwed up your entire design, but I think this actually turned out looking really good. So, I used black sharpie for all the lines, so I have this kind of blue, light blue kind of color, which is supposed to be his sweater that he's wearing underneath the decathlon jacket, and it's actually kind of more gray in the movie, but I think this blue is the closest color that I have to that. And then I just have these black lines going around the hands, or the arms, and the little blue going on there, so it looks like he's rolled up the, his uh, jacket a little bit because he's kind of rolled up his cuffs in the movie so I think that actually turned out looking pretty good and like you may think the the job looks kind of messy here but the thing is he's literally just like put the jacket over top of his suit so it's not meant to look really fancy it's supposed to look kind of messy so that's why I kind of just had some fun with this design um, so then I have the black sharpie going down here I have the blue here for the sweater which you can see underneath and then I have the spider-man suit that I painted on there or sharpie on with some lines and then a little spider symbol that I put there which I'm not sure how well you can see that but I'm really pleased with how that looks I've got some black lines going on here for the pockets on the front of the jacket and then the kind of little insignia for the decathlon from I believe it's called Midtown High in the movie and then if I take off the head you can see that I sharpied and painted everything all the way over top of the head so you can see all the design work that went into that and then it goes around to the back where I just put on some sharpie lines to add some kind of texture and some wrinkles to the sweater so it doesn't just look bland on the back or to the jacket sorry so it doesn't just look bland and then I have the hood going on here from the sweater that he's wearing underneath the decathlon jacket and that's how I designed the decathlon version of Spider-Man Far From, or sorry, not Far From Home, from Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm really pleased with how this design turned out, and it was extremely time-consuming and, like, really anxiety-inducing because, like, once again, as stated before, it's, like, one little mess-up and you've screwed up the whole design. But I'm extremely happy with how this looks, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think of it as well. Then I'm going to be showing you a quick little purist custom here, the casual Peter, and this is when he's just chilling around his apartment with Karen and trying to locate Aaron Davis. So for this figure, I just used the arms, hands, and torso from the Far From Home Hydro Man attack set, and I think that looks really good for the kind of outfit he's wearing. It's a gray sweater, and he's got that shirt and the suit on, so I think that looks pretty good. I just gave him the Death Star Trooper legs for the kind of black jeans that he's wearing in that scene, the normal Spider-Man head under there, and then the hood from the Unkar Thug from, I believe it's The Force Awakens, because he has his hood up in that scene, and then I just gave him this beige kind of sack, or like knapsack, whatever you want to call that, that the crooks use from Lego City, and I think that looks pretty good for his backpack. It isn't fully accurate, but I don't have any other backpacks in my collection that are kind of the correct beige color that his backpack is in Homecoming. And that's pretty much it, so there you go. That's a quick purist version of casual Spider-Man and my de my custom painted design for the decathlon version of Spider-Man from Homecoming. I'm really pleased with how both these designs turned out, but especially the decathlon version. So, as always, I hope you guys let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.